What's up everybody? It's Joe from Empire Music, EmpireMusic.com in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with Old This Week. We've got our summer sale cooking. We were really, really busy. Uh, we are selling tons of guitars. We're taking awesome trade-ins. Go to EmpireMusic.com. Right on the homepage, you're gonna see a summer sale block. Just click on that. Everything in there with the code SUMMER20 is automatically 20% off. You can do it right through checkout. Um, if something that you see on our site is not in there, don't, you know, don't sweat it, just give us a shout. Uh, everything in the store is on sale, 10, 15, or 20% off. There are some 20% off items that aren't in the summer sale just for advertising reasons, et cetera. So definitely hook us up, hit us up, we'll hook you up, and uh, we'll get you fixed up with some awesome stuff. If you have trades, just email us, joe at empiremusic.com. Send me a picture, a couple pictures of your guitar description, tell me what you're after, we will hook you up with a great deal. We have sick trades, we have a really cool week of guitars. So without further ado, let's do it. First ever, Callings 470JL, the Julian Lage signature model. Callings, as you guys likely know, out of Austin, Texas. They make about a thousand-ish, 1,500 guitars maybe a year. Um, their thing was always acoustic guitars, probably until the last maybe 10 or 15 years, they broke into electrics. And it's just kind of like world-class boutique building. They're probably the most well-known boutique builder. Um, the cool thing with this is Julian, who's a great acoustic guitar player, wanted an electric guitar, he already has a signature acoustic model. So they started to work on an electric model with him and it took him a long time. But what's cool about it is you see the inspiration from his acoustic background in the guitar here. It's a hollow instrument, very light, six pounds, three ounces, six pounds, five ounces, something like that. Um, there's just one little block in there, very light, no neck dive. So if you're worried about that, don't sweat it. So feather light, uh, Bigsby bridge, obviously. The real cool thing here is you have like an arch top style, um, adjustable bridge you know, with your Bigsby tailpiece. So you have that acoustic inspiration here. And then they went to Ron Ellis, who's one of the most, you know, I think again, famous uh, boutique pickup makers. And he did a set called the Ellisonics for him. And it has kind of some acoustic uh, ambient nature to it. It's still electric guitar, obviously. It's not gonna sound like an acoustic guitar, but it's a little rounder, a little fuller. It's got um, all those kind of features an acoustic guitar player would expect, the response, the, the touch built right in. So phenomenal. The cool thing is uh, on this too is it's a laminated maple top at Honduran mahogany back and sides. So just you know, uh, incredible body material. The uh, Honduran mahogany neck, Waverly tuners, lights out. Beautiful guitar, not inexpensive, very, very clean. This is just a beautiful instrument. Give us, give us a call if you're interested. If you're in the know on these, you'll know. Uh, you know, get a great build here. This next one I was really excited to get. 2004 crafted in Japan Fender Jaguar, Lake Placid Blue. Japanese stuff is always cool. Um, sometimes, you know, it's like what I always think is like when you're in Japan, the, the full USA line goes to Japan, but Japan's manufacturing for Fender is very small, so not that much stuff makes it to the US. Maybe like one line or one uh, series every couple years. So in 2004, they had this come over, vintage Jaguar style pickups, um, alder body, it's a 24 inch scale, like all Jaguars, so a short scale, rosewood board, maple neck. Um, cool thing with these is sometimes when you get these uh, Jaguars, they give you the body shape, but they don't give you the classic electronics. This has the classic electronics in it. So you have individual pickup on and off, so neck pickup on, bridge pickup on, and then a cut. And then up here you have your circuit choice. Standard circuits down here, when you come up, you get the rhythm circuit, which is a warm version of the neck with a volume and tone control. Really, really cool vintage tuners. This Lake Placid Blue is like electric. I mean, it is a very beautiful version of that. Um, extremely good shape for a 20 year old guitar. I don't know what vintage is anymore, but 2004 isn't vintage, obviously, but is it 1980s guitar vintage? 1990s guitar? What's, what's your status for vintage? Let me know below uh, as an aside. Next up, 0018 Martin, traded in by our Dave up in Hopwood, Pennsylvania. Buys a bunch of cool guitars from us. Super clean. I'm 99% sure this is a 2023. It'll say on the site. It's very, very new. Solid Sika spruce top, solid mahogany back and sides, mahogany neck. Ebony fingerboard and bridge, short scale, scallop brace. He put an LR Bags Anthem in this. So you have the undersaddle pickup with a bridge plate transducer and a blend. So my favorite aftermarket pickup by far. I mean, really, really great sounding pickup. The cool thing with this is even though it's a double O, 
Um, it still sounds really big. Now, it's not gonna sound like a dreadnought, but this will definitely play with orchestra style guitars. I mean, definitely hang there. This particular one is very boastful. I was playing a little bit before we uh, did this video, and I think it sounds amazing. Super clean, original hard case, of course. So, great chance to get a good Martin there. Next up, 78, 1978, Fender Jazz Bass. It's a beast. It's not the light guitar. If you're the under nine pound bass guy, save yourself the email. Save us the sadness of telling you it's more. This is probably close to 10. Um, swamp Ash body, um, seven and a quarter inch fingerboard radius, rosewood board, maple neck, natural finish, which is really cool. This guitar is in bass is 46 years old. Um, definitely been a, an instrument that's well maintained but played. And uh, I always think what's cool about this era of guitars, there weren't uh, you know, like thousands of tiers. <laughs> when you come into Empire now, you see all these versions of Fender, different series, all that stuff. Back then it was kind of like, hey, this is the jazz bass. And they made it in the colors they offered it in. Maple neck, rosewood uh, board, and that was your choices. And you pick your color and you went out the door. Very well-known instrument. Hit Anthony up for all the details on this from the player's perspective. He'll give you a uh, great insight on it. But we don't do tons and tons of vintage, but it's always cool to get something really cool like this. And this finish to me is the late 70s Fender look. So pretty sweet. Next up, Fender Acoustasonic, Stratocaster, USA. And sometimes the USA models and the Mexico models, you can make an argument if you wanted to say, hey, I, want, I think the Mexicos are as good. I, I don't necessarily always agree, but you can make that claim. On the Acoustasonics, you can't make that claim. The USA models are amazing. At 2,000 bucks, they sell just okay. This is 950 used. This will sell very fast. The cool thing with the USA models you have an ebony fingerboard and bridge, which is a nice upgrade, but the big thing is the story inside. It's a really advanced Fishman Electronics package that sounds unbelievable. The acoustic settings on this are incredible. Um, you get a five-way switch with two blends, so you get 10 different sounds out of this guitar, electric and acoustic. It plays great. If you're gonna play this guitar live, or you wanna record and have an electric feel, and you want that acoustic guitar kind of sound out of the electric guitar feel, this is your guy. I mean, really light, which is comfortable to play. It sounds amazing. The Made in Mexico models have a different electronics engine in them that basically just don't sound that great. We, we have maybe one or two on the site. If you, you want one, we will sell you one, but it's not something we just go out of the way to like really promote real heavily because the USA model is dramatically better. So if you have any questions about this specifically, we've done plenty of videos on Acoustasonics, Tellys and Jazzmasters and Strats. For this price point, it's pretty awesome. Lastly, the Fender Player Mustang Bass short scale. As you likely know, the Player series is now evolving to Player 2. Uh, we're behind on our launch because Fender didn't get the dealers the guitars in time, flat out. That's just how it goes. They, they sell the guitars to you on their site. Call us for best price. We'll definitely smack their 10% off down, no problem. Get you hooked up with a brand new guitar. We have actually, um, we just received a pallet of these, two pallets of these guitars um, yesterday. So they're getting listed to the site and photoed. This is sweet though. Player Mustang Bass, I think it's you know, it's up there with one of our best-selling player models. Age Natural, Torque Guard, PJ Style Pickup, uh, Powell Ferro Fingerboard, Maple Neck, Standard Three, kind of a three-way talk, which is cool. Very light. I think short scale bass is like, for a guitar player, for a guitar player, this feels more like home. So if you wanted a bass for your collection, it feels great. I think the PJ is cool. I know um, short scale basses are pretty popular, you know, across the board, so. Pretty awesome instrument, flats on it, so super fat sounding. We'll get it all set up and dialed in like everything else we sell. So I implore you to go to empiremusic.com, check out the summer sale block, click on that. Everything in there is 20 off with the code SUMMER20. If you aren't able to use that code on your item, just give us a call. We'll get you the best price. We will hook you up. If you have trades, hit us up with those. Chat with us on our site. We'll get you fixed up. This is old this week.